Yo, after that last episode, bro, I know for a fact I gotta die before my partner. Why does wh- wh- what? <laughs> like I, I don't even understand how we got from last episode to you wanting to die, bro. Because like. Oh, because you fucked up the relationship after talking about no, it online. No, 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 I wouldn't die. Because the church stuff has ruined any relationship <laughs> you might have had with her family. No, no, no. Because, because I, I, I could think of a million reasons why you'd want to die after last episode. But c- tell me why you think you'd want to die. First of all, I didn't say I wanted to die. You I said just you know I want to die. die first. You know, like, well, you know what? Uh, apart from the, oh, man, I'd be so sad. Like, man, like, yeah, no, like. That too, that too, for sure. You but would be sad. Absolutely. What? If you die before your partner? No, not I if I like if I didn't. Oh, die if you didn't I, die. Yeah, if your partner how would died I be you? sad if I died? It's honestly, kind of weed off the shoulders, no? Huh? It's something you gotta like worry less about and shit. Like now you a single man, you get to do it. Not that I'm planning to kill your girlfriend by any means. Listen, this is going on, <laughs> oh on the internet. God. The FBI, <laughs> if you're listening, there are no plans for this. Y'all heard what happened. Y'all but if she goes to sleep episode. and doesn't wake up, no, I'm joking. I don't even want to joke about that stuff. Uh, go ahead. So Friday, <laughs> before she went to she went to travel for the weekend, like for we the weekend, for, yeah, we went okay. for some pizza, and then like she took a picture of me because she was like, "Oh, you look so cute." I was like, "Oh, vet." Was and this then, picture posted anywhere? I don't think so. Okay, thank God. Just like it was just like she spurred yeah, the moment, was, yeah, like she yeah, wanted yeah. to take a little like, picture. She, all, all I heard was "aw," and she took her phone out. So I was like, "You know what? Let me let me hit a let me hit a like a pose, whatever uh-huh. smile." And then I went to the bathroom to wash my hands because it was like you know pizza, so grease. Yeah, I was yeah, about to sure. dry with that. Okay. And then I saw them. I saw in the mirror, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like she really let me walk out like this. Well, That's like you crazy. Bad. Like my hair, like my hair was just everywhere. And I was like, "There's no way you thought this was cute." Yo, you think I'm raggedy, don't you? I just don't. <laughs> I don't think you're raggedy by any means. But like, how fucked up could your? I know your haircut. You know what mm. I mean? Like, you don't have hair where like it could even be fucked up. Yes, it. Yes, it can. Like I how? You. Give me a little I'm example. Not gonna, I'm not gonna expose myself for the free. But like, what? What was so bad about like, it? Like it was windy, so like shit was everywhere. It was like it was. I had it was like no hairline. It was just like waves. I think you have to you have to see it to like be able to visualize yeah, it, right? Because that's what everybody <laughs> yeah. says. Like, oh, your hair can't get fucked up because it's so simple. It's like short. Like you barely. You, you, it's not short right now. I need a haircut. I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. You got like five, six more years with you, bro. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm, yeah, gonna, keep my it, hair is I'm nice. gonna keep it a buck, brother. Son, if y'all see me randomly go like just shave my head, it was not a stylistic choice, time. bro. Yeah, it, it was, was not a stylistic <laughs> choice. It's happening. How, how much longer you think you got with with a full head of hair? Yeah, damn. I know you're gonna get that Ecuadorian bald. Yeah, that slow balding. That it's slow balding. Happen. But your hair is thick though. You have very thick hair. I don't think it's thick. I think it's very thin. Run your hand through it real quick. Can I run my hand through it real quick? Sure. Don't it, look me in the eyes the while fan. I do this. <laughs> Don't look me in the eyes while I look away while I do it. Uh, yeah, it's not just, super thick. Go ahead, do yes, mine. Do thin. mine. Do mine. I don't want to do yours. Just your, do mine. Oh do me. God. Let's see how much. Let me see how many years you got. Let's estimate. Uh, Sin City high. was amazing. <laughs> Who had thin Here's hair? my thin. Mine is thin, but no, you have thin like oh like goodbye in three years. Thin. I have thin like oh you, I'm, you're gonna last until you know like 57 okay. at least. Yeah, we'll see. Once I start pulling my hair back and I see that gap, I'm gonna be like, Damn. "How is your hairline?" I think it's fine. You got a you got a bit of a forehead on you, big bro. Well, that's just I just got a big ass forehead. That's different than not having a hair. That's different than like my hairline receding. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Me- hey man, I don't, I'm, hey, it's gonna happen. I know it's in my family. Maybe, maybe Literally everybody's going bald. You ever think like maybe the picture my girlfriend took of me wasn't bad, and no, I'm just no. hit. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my thing. If I die now, now I can't. I I can't give her the job of like setting up the memorial with all the pictures. She's gonna pick ass ones. Cause like me, right? Okay. If she passed, I make sure everybody knows how beautiful she was with the picture. Be like, damn, we really lost a beautiful soul this evening. Okay. But then, like, if I die, I'm gonna be looking down, and everybody's gonna be like, eh. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's rephrase that after the last episode. Oh, looking yeah. down. Looking up. Sorry. Okay, looking up. Go. We're going to be looking up. And, <laughs> like, and how are you going to feel? Yo, homie, up? like, let me, let, me, let me take a quick gander. <laughs> let me go terrorize these people from down below. Yeah. Once I'm terrorizing people, I'm going to look up like, everybody's going to be like, damn, like, the loss wasn't that heavy. Like, it could have been worse. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you want your obituary to be written? That's a big word. Like, do, do you think... Right, right, right. Okay, so let, let's... <laughs> Let's sit here and be honest, people, okay? Okay? Okay. 
you die. Okay. Let's say let, this is all theoretical. I don't want a, either of us to die. He's okay? like, let's say you put me in your will, and like you. No, no, no. Fuck the will. The obituary is like what people say once you die. Like in a speech? Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want only good things said about you after you die? Absolutely not. I'm not a perfect person. I want only good things said about me. I want them to lie. You know, I how, want them to know who I was. Yeah, and if and it better be every single best part of me. <laughs> I've been to some funerals in my life, and the worst one I've ever been to. Sorry, that sucks to say. The worst funeral I've ever been to. It was someone I didn't really know. It was like a family, fr- like of my parents' friend or something like that. And the dude in front of us fell asleep. Like during the funeral, and was snoring loud as fuck the whole time. <laughs> See, the shit him, if that happens at my funeral, like I give everybody permission to collectively jump that person. Okay, right. but That's what he would have wanted. It's really what I would have <laughs> wanted. Looking down because you know, oh yeah, I will sure, be looking buddy. down. Sure, that is when the HMO podcast ends because unfortunately, I don't think the H microphones does not stand for heaven, bro. I'm sorry. The- <laughs> 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 I don't even know where I was going to say next. The hev- Yeah. I think I have solidified my place in hell having a podcast with you. And, and you know. By association. By, be like, looking at Discord messages like, what's this? What? Well, okay. Who is this? Okay, this is the funny question. What do you, you get to the pearly gates. What is the one thing that keeps you from getting into heaven? <laughs> like, what's the one message? Let's say nothing else my matters but this one thing. No, but like, what's the one thing? Like that's happened? That that you've done. Like an action that you've done that'll keep you from getting into heaven. Oh my god, that's hard. I got a couple for you. You do? Of me? D- you called fucking Jesus body <laughs> fucking bread and you sure that shit was <laughs> ass. We're not gonna go back to that. All I <laughs> Hey man. If you know you after, know after two thousand years, shit gotta be stale. Oh I'm my god. Okay, well this is we're not doubling down. Stop doubling down. Listen, man. I wanna get to the good place. I want to get to the I good place. In you. No, I think the worst thing I've ever done, honestly, like just like the like the one evil I've done in this world, right? Ah, um, oh, fuck, I actually don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I would have the to write. One call me off guard. Thing. I need to write that shit down. And come I'm back not with that a much list. of an evil person, to be honest. I don't think I'm evil. I feel like I have some crazy inner thoughts, but I've done some function in my life for sure. I have done some me, like okay, the the one action, right? We just had to settle it down to one. Is when I pulled out your girlfriend's seat out from under her in first grade. <laughs> you can't be forgiven. I, for that I don't one. think like At God will see five, that moment. Your fate was sealed. I think God in that moment realized the type of man he created and was like, "Yeah, we gotta pack this boy up." And if I, I don't make I, it up there, I don't chance, make it up man. there. He's giving you a chance. But ah uh, man, maybe maybe we're just good people and we don't do anything bad. We we not me. You do bad. Then what is the one bad thing? I don't think but this is my thing. I don't oh, think there's I'm a not bad one <laughs> bad thing you've done. You're just such a <laughs> shitty person. You do bad things all Absolutely. the time. Absolutely, at least three a day. Okay, what's one bad thing you did today? Bro, expose myself on the on the, on the for the free. No, 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 I don't. That's the thing. I don't think I wouldn't like if we were to refer to me. I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I'm a great person. I don't think well, so. But but I don't, but I don't think I'm a bad person either. I think I'm pretty average. I don't think I'm a good per- like like that's the thing right good person it's like everyone wants to think they're a good person right but it, it, you go around like like sometimes I'll say like oh I'm a good dude but someone's like, gonna think you're a villain but that's the thing it's all subjective right so subjectively I might love you but someone might fucking hate you so who's right are we both right are we both wrong or ow is one of us wrong see this is God playing fucking tricks on me right now <laughs> for all this bullshit that I've been putting up with but back to the pictures. Yes, I agree. I think I think people need to just be more open and honest. Every single day I go to work, right? Not every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And I I work at I work very early in the morning. So let's say I my shift starts at like nine AM. That's not when my shift starts, but I go to work, let's say at nine AM. Twenty twenty five minute drive. I wake up at eight thirty, right? And I leave my house by eight thirty five. I there is not a single day that I do my hair before I go to work. Wow. So I go in that bitch looking absolutely fucking crazy, bro. And then I'll go to use the bathroom afterwards and I'll come back and tell my coworkers, like, was no one going to tell me I look like this? And they're like, Juan, you look like this every day, bro. Like, <laughs> like, brother, like, do better. It was, it's, it's always been like a theme in my life where I just don't get like nice for work. I get nice for other shit, but I don't get nice no, no, for getting, work. Like getting nice, wild, but like you got to comb. I don't bit. comb. That's crazy. You don't comb before you come on the podcast. Yes, I do. <laughs> Buy a better comb, brother. Buy a better comb. I no, don't know. Like I'm telling you because like shit would frizz. Like, it'd be like, it'd be like, oh my God, you got no hair. It could frizz. Yes, it does. It starts puffing up, right? 
It's, it's still puffing because, you know, got a shower before coming on. So shit's still going to be a little frizzy. Right. But I don't know. If I, I didn't, shit would look like this. I'd have like a helmet head. Oh, like me right now. You're not a helmet head. Oh, so you're kind of shitting on me a little bit. Huh? That's fine. No, that's fine. Oh, my God. Uh, there was a. P- okay. Okay. I I don't know why. Okay. This is really bad. But I have really, really been in a party phase these past few ever since i got a new job i don't know why i have been so you agree your hobby is drinking i think someone (laughs) someone literally sent me a dm on instagram that was like kevin was right your only hobby is drinking because i went to a korean barbecue spot and they had a drink called the big bang big bang you know what that fucking drink had inside of it do you know what that drink had inside of it it should be wild it had my 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 two best friends in the drinking world it had Hennessy and Casamigos. They told me... They that's a to- bad bitch drink. That's a bad bitch drink. <laughs> I drank one of them and I couldn't feel my jaw. Like, it was like... It was such a visceral punch in the face after I took a sip of that drink that I'm like, oh, I'm going to have the best night of my life. And it wasn't even that late. It was like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Oh, my God. So I just had the rest of the day to just sit there and revel in my own shit. But... Mm-hmm. I have been in my uh my little going out phase. So this past weekend I went out again, okay. Peak. And someone took a picture of me at a club, and you know, like when you're when you're under the influence a little bit, you feel yourself a little bit more. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm really some handsome motherfucker. This picture they took of me was the most humbling picture I have ever seen in my entire life. Nah, I can't believe you, bro. Cause like you'll be like, bro, you t- you you picked an ass picture of me, and I'm like, what are you talking about? No, that thumbnail, <laughs> dude. No, no, no. That fucking thumbnail you picked of me on the last episode was fucking atrocious. You're complaining about your fucking girlfriend. Fuck that. Your girlfriend's also gonna suffer from the consequences of your. What? I don't know if it's your color blindness. I don't know if it's just your face blindness. I don't know if you just don't know how to use your thumbs the right way. But you absolutely picked the absolute worst fucking picture of me to use as the fucking thumbnail for this last fucking video. And yes, I said fucking so many times because I was enraged. And you know what the worst part is? You know what the worst part is about it? You, you want to know what the worst part is? No. I only find out about it the next morning because you send it to me so late. And you didn't even send it to me that day. Yeah, I forgot. You didn't even send it to me that day. So I had to find out by opening fucking YouTube and seeing my god-awful picture. And I get it. I understand. The camera takes what it sees. I get it. I understand. But, you know, you could also do it when I'm not mid-motion, when my mouth not looking like it's about to fall out my fucking jaw, when my tongue is actually in my mouth, when my eye looks like it's in my head. But, no, you decided to pick the one picture where my fingers look crooked, my ear looks a little longer than usual, my tongue is sticking out, my bottom lip look extra crusty. Like, you can make it so that you don't pick the worst possible picture. And you over here complaining about, oh, no, my girlfriend took a bad picture of me that's in her phone that no one's going to see ever in their entire lives. But you picked a picture of me because you look... Hear me out. (laughs) Hear me fucking out. No, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Hear me out. If you take a group picture, everybody has to look good. Fuck that. Oh, if I look good, I'm posting. If you post a picture and you're the only one that looks good, you are the most selfish motherfucker in the entire world, bro. You are the most... And that's what you did to me on the last thumbnail, by the way. No. You looked good, so you posted that (laughs) picture. But I look like shit. So you were like, oh, how do I feel better about myself? Let's make Juan look like fucking shit. Just because I said you had no sex appeal in the last podcast. What? What? That's how you feel? No. We were both asking questions, so that was a questioning thumbnail. Uh, hey, bro, I no, don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, nah, nah. You, I was questioning if I should kill myself or not <laughs> after I saw that picture. Yeah, I was super, definitely questioning some shit. Super, super, super exaggerated. You would think that... W- bro, 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 bro. I know. Listen, I understand. I understand. I know. I know I'm not the best looking dude in the world. I get it. I get it. I get carried by my height. You can't see my head when we're sitting down. I I understand that, brother. Like I know my torso. What? No, I understand my torso makes me look five eight. Okay, my legs my legs give me the rest of the inches. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. you know my penis. I, no, I'm cho- choking. Um, I understand. I understand. I look like a short man sitting down, and you capitalized on that because I was. Oh uh, not, not only was I. Not only. Not only was I slouching. I looked like a Neanderthal. I looked like I didn't know how to bite meat. I looked like I've only eaten soup for my entire life. 
Do you know when we talked about the nose breathing, mouth mouth, mouth breathing? I look like a mouth breather. And I am. I understand that. Kevin, no, no. You need to understand. I get it. I, I am these things that I think I am. You are who you think you are. I am what I am. My name is my name. I know these things. But as my co-host, as my fellow co-patriot, as my compa, as my as my as as your future as your future best man, oh you should God. understand that there are certain <laughs> things you do and don't do. And you want to know what the number one rule? Listen, I'm the easiest person to have a friendship with. I'm so easygoing. I love everybody. I make sure everyone has a good time all the time. You know what the one rule in being friends with me is? You want get, get what's the one rule, Kevin? Let you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Two rules. <laughs> Two rules. Well, I Make got, sure I, I don't one. look fucking bad in fucking pictures. That's the only thing we have, our self-image. And now I'm over here plastered on the internet looking like a fucking piece of shit. Do you, is that what you want from me? Is that what you want for me? All because Listen, no, I understand. Dad. No, no. Ke- Kevin's playing a smart game. I, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I know okay. what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. It's because of the sex appeal. What? I said it last time because you were mad about the fan cams. You said like, oh, you're like, I'd be pissed if you get, and I said, oh, it's because you have no sex appeal because you're in a relationship. And now you're like, oh, how do I make Juan look like shit? No, you win. You win. I you, thought you looked handsome. I, I think that you have <laughs> terrible taste. And I oh. think, I think, I think that maybe that picture that your girlfriend took of you was amazing now. And I actually hope you die first. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that is a joke that's a joke that's a joke <laughs> but no yeah I didn't even put two and two together huh? I didn't put even put two because you were complaining about your girlfriend's picture assessing skills but yours fucking sucked too maybe that's why you guys belong together because hey, neither of you know how to take a picture Son, it would be so much easier if your hand wasn't in front of your face all the time bro bro okay so another thing so, so now you're just gonna attack my insecurities <laughs> huh I told Kevin before the podcast I was like I gotta stop touching my face so much because that's just a bad habit. You know, but you, people have those bad habits, right? I scratched my chest, and people called me out on it so fast. On, the, the, on the podcast? Yeah. You be scratching your chest? Well, yeah, you think you're Superman this. or some shit? You about to rip out that shirt? No, I do this. This is what I do. Like, my chest be itchy, so I do this. And then people were like, oh, you do that a lot. And you know like, we Damn. did not evolve directly from Abe's brother. Hmm? We did not evolve directly from it. There is no reason you should be scratching your chest like that. Oh, I'm sorry. There, why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you Because do- my chest be itching. Brother, have you gone to the doctor lately? No. You think that maybe there's an issue? No. Do you have chest hair? Be honest. No. You have no chest hair? No. None at all? No. No. What the fuck? You don't shave? I only, I only, no, I only have hair on my legs. I just... You don't even have arm hair. Yeah, it's... Holy... Bro, you didn't put... You, you thought hair just didn't grow on my lip? Wow. How does that I'm feel? Free. It feels pretty good. My mom doesn't shave either. She's hairless. And then my dad's a bear. So Wow. I got a mixture. Like even even on my like even on my legs, if you look at it, like the hair is only on the front. And then by the by the back it disappears. Well, that's most people. Oh. Uh, it's uh, like the palms of your hands. You don't have any hair on the palm of your hand. So this is my palm? No, but No there's way. Not- there's definitely people that got hair. Right. Significantly <laughs> less. Significantly less. Okay, I still had hair on the back of my leg. But there are parts like I don't have any hair here. Like the insides. Because the sun touches it less. You know why you have hair on the outside? Well, you don't because you didn't know. Your body just... I'm telling they you, forgot. bro. They forgot, bro. I don't know. They forgot to add parts to bro, you. I, my man forgot about me and talking about some praise me. Oh, no. my God, Kevin. You are, <laughs> you are just doubling down and going to hell. And listen, that's cool. You can do that. But me... I'm finna oh, turn up. <laughs> but oh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Fuck, I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, insecurities. Insecurities. So I told Kevin before the podcast started that previous episode, if you guys didn't notice, I kept touching my facial hair. I didn't. I, because like we talk, but like we don't really look at each other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like we kind of, you know, like... I don't know. Like I'm looking I, deep into your soul. Yeah, I'm like looking into the wall. Like I'm not really looking at you. Oh, I'm looking at um, you. No, no, not me. Not me. God forbid I look <laughs> at you for too long. I might start uh, feeling bad about myself. Uh, but no. And and I realize like it's the fucking worst shit in the world because I spend all day with like my hand on my beard. I wear gloves at work so I don't touch my beard during work. But when I have facial hair, like a beard that's this long, like I spend all day just 
clipping and clipping and clipping. Just like that. Or, dude, when I have a long mustache, oh my God, bro. I start twirling my mustache. Because when I was a kid, right? You know what I used to do as a kid? I used to twirl my hair. Mm-hmm. Did you ever do that as a kid? No. But I, I used to twirl my hair and then anyone's hair who was like in my vicinity. Oh, wow. So like, I used was to, really going up to kids and touching their hair. No, no, not rent, like like my family. Like I would oh, twirl my mom's man. hair. If I was like laying down with her, I would twirl my dad's hair. I would twirl my sister's hair. But I would twirl the hair so much that it would make knots. So it wasn't like I was just like doing like this. No, like I was grabbing it and like twisting it. Damn. Until, until it like made a knot. Are you sure you're not going to go bald, bro? Did hair just fall out of my head? I don't know. I want to be able to see. I'm it. not going bald. <laughs> um, but I used to twist it so much that it would make a knot. And there were times in my life where my mom had to get scissors and like cut hair out of my head because we couldn't undo the knot. That was. And Damn. I used to have. I, the thing is, I used to have really long hair. I used to have like the Justin Bieber look. You know, like the young Justin Bieber. You okay. know which yeah, one I'm talking yeah, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Young, just, young, young Biebs, not older Biebs. Baby Biebs. Yeah. So I used to have that hair. So my hair was pretty long. So I used to do that shit. And it was bad, bro. I had, yo, I had some annoying habits growing up, bro. I had some really annoying habits growing up. Did you have any? Yeah. Like what? I used to, like I used to smack the shit out of my parents' elbows and knees. What? Yeah. What? Like, I don't know. It was like it was a fucking weird ass habit. Like I'd go up to them and just be like, "Codito, codito, codito, codito," and then just smack the fuck. You were out just of a them. bad kid. <laughs> Like that that's just like me. Like my shit is innocent, bro, but like I wasn't I wasn't terrible at school, but guess what? Parents got the smoke. I'm telling you, bro, like did I tell this on the I think I've told this on the story uh, on the podcast where like oh, yeah. I was great at school, but like like I was a shithead at home, bro. And I'd be thinking like, damn, yo, if my kids are shithead too, I'm gonna have some problems, bro, because we can't both be shitheads. It was like me and my pops were like, we're both little shitheads. Like we're we are. And you know, everyone's hard headed in this family and and I'm not any better, okay? I'm I'm I've succumbed to it. That I am just that guy. My kids will be little demons. I hope that you don't reproduce. <laughs> that my offspring, my seeds, they'll be they'll be planted. There is something <laughs> really, really wrong about you having children. I feel like they took away a lot of your abilities so that you would think that it's not time. It's like Darwinism, you know what I mean? Like the you know, the fit the, the fittest survive, what is it? Uh, survival survival of, the of the fittest. I could, I don't know. I'm Hispanic. I don't, I I barely speak English. Um, yeah, survival of the fittest. And I think they're giving you slowly hints throughout your DNA and your genealogy. I that, wasn't like, meant to survive, bro. You were not meant to <laughs> survive. Olivia did man. not make it. Yeah, I think. I mean, but I think the world is now making it so that like all of us die. You know what I'm saying? Have you seen all the train crashes that have been happening what? lately? Oh yes, actually. What do you? What is? What's your opinion? Have an opinion. If you don't have an opinion, I'm going to be upset. What's your opinion on all the train crashes that are going on? Do you have some sort... Like, do you think it's a conspiracy theory, like, that they're trying to kill us? Or do you think there is actual reason behind what's going on? I think on? if they wanted to kill us, they would just bomb us. But that's just me. Okay. Know? But what do you think about I mean, these trains? It, you ever been part of maybe a... Maybe they're villains. You ever been part of a hour-long train? Like, like on a, on a train ride that's long as fuck? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I drove when I took a train to Massachusetts. It was there for three hours. I don't, you, know, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, I've been part of <laughs> I've been part of hour long trains before. Um, Every day. No, as a as a seat. No, but I do. Uh, I did see this tweet where. Okay, so I've seen a lot of. Uh, I I'm gonna go back to the train stuff, but I just saw a lot of stuff on Twitter this week that I'm just like, people lack so much like critical thinking skills that it's kind of like funny. But also, it's really, I can tell how many of these people could get, like, could get recruited into a a, a, a cult. Like, mm-hmm. I see some of the things people tweet and I'm like, oh, I could sell you something or I can recruit you into a cult and you won't even realize you're in a cult because you're just a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, I saw, I saw this thing where, so like, another athlete this year has passed away, uh, not another Plenty of athletes die every year, right? Everyone's hyper-focused on it now because of COVID and the vaccines. And people are like, oh, so many young people are dying from heart issues. So I saw somebody tweet this week something along the lines of like, um, we really have to start looking into why there's so many young professional athletes dying from heart problems out of nowhere. So you know what I did? You know, I'm a researcher, a man of science. 
I googled how many athletes die of heart disease every year. This isn't even the highest year. Like, like the percentage is very high. Like, it's not that uncommon for professional athletes to have heart problems. Heart problems are a very common cause of death for everyone. Pre-COVID, post-COVID, all in the same. Of course, if people want to argue things about, you know, arteries and blood clots and all that shit, great. But to sit here and say just stupid shit for the sake of saying stupid shit, sometimes you just got to sit and think, right? And be like, hmm, do I have a brain? Then you have to follow up that question with, if I could ask myself that question, I might have a brain. So let me just look into some things, you know? Let me just look instead of instead of just blabbering. And I understand because I blabber too. I blabber too. But the things I blabber sometimes are are little innocence, little white 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 lies, white white uh, white interpretations, okay? Just things that don't have any real value in the real world. But sometimes when you tweet things like that and I see them I'm like, "Damn, I wish I could say something to you." But I can't. So I don't. But Why in can't my head you? I could, I could, but also I don't know everything about it. So the same way that they're tweeting from ignorance, if I tweeted at them, it'd also be from ignorance because it's confirmation bias, right? I see something that, that, that helps my own idea and I'm like, oh, this is the right thing. So that guy is wrong. I, I, I did one Google search. I literally did one Google search. First link that I looked up, gave me the results I wanted and I was like, okay, that's it. But I feel like people don't even do that. You know what I mean? I think people talk without knowing all the goddamn time. And maybe, you know, you can do that because I do that as well. But maybe, you know, just like breathe first, like give it some thought. Like, I don't know. And I feel that way about the trains, too. I think a lot of people are just tweeting a bunch of nonsense about like, how is it that there's so many chemicals on these trains that are being burned alive? And I'm like. Bro, do you know how many fucking cargo trains there are? There are more cargo trains than there are people trains. Like, hazardous materials are transported all the time. Obama tried to pass something that had to do with train breaks years and years ago. And then when Trump came into office, he blocked it and removed it. And now we're having all these train issues. And they have been, like, advocating for safer trains for fucking years. And now that we're, like, reaping the repercussions of you know, bad politics all these years later, it's like, oh, wow, maybe they're not trying to kill us. Maybe all the signs have been here. It's like if, if you smell something funny in your house, right? Like, let's just say you're sitting at home and you were cooking something, right? And you forget that the stove was on. And you're like, smells like smoke. Looks like smoke. You walk on to the you're like, why did no one tell me there was a fire? I mean, if it looks like smoke, smells like smoke, you were cooking something, you know, next step is like, hey, maybe there's something smoking. You ever think like that? I, I can. I can it's adjust. a good analogy. It's, it's a very <laughs> good analogy. If it looks like smoke, smells like smoke, maybe something's smoking. What is it? What's the saying? If it looks like a dog, barks like a dog, I it might be no a dog. Idea. There's a saying that goes somewhere along those lines. But yeah, that, that, that was just a little rant. Whatever. I think um, man's passionate about his trains. I'm not passionate about trains <laughs> per se. I'm just, I'm just passionate. I, okay, this is what I, what I'm actually passionate about. I want people to, 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 to share information, but in the right ways. Because I could have responded to that tweet and have done that, and it would have been seen as combative. But realistically, I just want to let the person know, like, hey, your worries are misplaced you are you are like worried about the wrong things and i don't think they're stupid by any means i think there's just like a lack of information and every time that there's a lack of information about something everyone's gonna be like trying to get the right answer i guess but like if you're just you know it's just the whole thing i don't know it just it makes me think more and more that like if there's a zombie apocalypse we're all fucked yeah well covid taught me that yeah (laughs) like bro if if people were used to hide that they had COVID and still go to parties and do all this shit, well, people are gonna hide that they're infected, missing a piece of their fucking that, stomach. There's a thing. Oh, well, you keep, we talked about it the last part. Well, we didn't talk about it, but the no, show, we didn't your talk show, about Last of Us. What's your show? Yeah, go, That's go my show tell, tell us. Tell, tell me about Last it. Last of Us. All right, bro. Let's go right here. I, fucking I have, finally. I haven't played the game. I haven't watched the show. It's I, pretty good, bro. I have I'm no telling, hobbies. Yeah. 
I like watching TV. I like playing games. It's the same shit in two. That's I, two. I like uh uh I like drinking. I guess I guess that's that's my only <laughs> personality trait, guys. I and just to spite Kevin, I'm never gonna watch this show now. Oh. Literally, just to spite you, I'm never watching this show. Thank you for telling Pick me. Pick something else. No, I'm, I'm just like never watching this show now. And I'm really happy that you keep trying to force it down my throat because the more you talk, I'm going to watch it a year from now when the hype is gone and you're not even talking about it anymore. That's when I'm going to actually sit down and enjoy that show. But until then, I'm going to sit here in silence as you describe this god awful show with a terrible plot, terrible. Uh, I can't even talk. Go ahead. Tell me about The Last of Us. I don't even like you on the show or something. Want to talk about it so bad. You on the show? You no sponsor it? Bro, next episode, check me out, bro. Oh I'm in my the back. gosh, what is it though? What I know what it's about. What but do you think? What do you think know. it's about? What do you think it's about? Well, I know what the game's about. Okay. So I'm assuming the show is the same as the game. Okay. Which is about like zombies and about surviving. But they're not zombies. They're infected. Whatever. Yes. But they're basically zombies. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just zombies without the Z word. No, they're conscious people. But they, they're like, so basically like... Okay, so just explain it from okay, the beginning. Right, What's right. the show? So, What's the... Show, talk a, to them. Talk to there's them. There's an outbreak in the world where... How? Do they know how? Yeah. Cordyceps, which is a type of uh, fungus. Okay. Evolves and it's able to in like it go inside of humans and control. So basically what the cordyceps do is in, in the show and in real life, they're like, they can... Uh, they're basically a type of... Fuck, what's a parasite? Okay. So like, you eat them and then... They'll grow inside of you and eventually control your brain. So there's like uh, fungus that do that with insects. They'll just like, you know, eat them and then they'll spread into their brain, start growing out of them. And then they're like, the ant is now conscious. But is that a thing that actually happened? Yeah. Yeah. The cordyceps. This is feeling like like Australia fighting the kangaroos all over again. (laughs) But I feel like you... (laughs) There are some truths and some lies in this story. You can look it up. It takes over the body though. Yes, it it takes over the body. But it's not like it's a conscious like being. Though. Yes, because it doesn't. It can make the, the ant walk. Yes, the ant will walk. Yes, and it will stop it from decomposing. Bro, okay, can you explain what would yeah. you say it was? Like cordyceps. Cordyceps. Dead ants. All right, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. All right. Anyway, so that basically evolves and starts infecting humans, and basically all all the fungus wants to do is spread as 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 much as possible. So. You could get bitten. In the games, they go through spores, but like, you can't do that in a show, or else everybody will just be in a, yeah. Shit. You'll just be in a gas mask the whole time. That show will be. But why ass. didn't they do that in the game? They did the spores. It's in the game, so they have gas masks whenever they have to enter areas. Oh, where like growing. So what do they? How do they trans? Tra- so in the show, there's transmit. no yeah. So there's no there's no um there's no spores, but they have the like all the zombies are just fast as fuck. First of all, like compared to the game. That shit is a whole different level. Like it's it's World War Z type zombies. Have you ever seen that movie? Yes, that, that like, shit is incredible. Like where they just start sprinting at you. That's what happened in the first episode. They're just like, boom, they start chasing you. Ah, ah. Like I'm not, bro. I'm not. I'm not in shape. Yeah, like, I would die in, so fast. In an outbreak, in an outbreak, if you are not fit, damn, you you are doing it to yourself. I just think that shit is so in, in my head, right? Like I understand that there is some truth in it, but bro, if there's an outbreak, that shit is so easy to survive. I don't think so, bro. COVID. That shit is so no easy way. to survive. Because this is what happens, right? They have, they have, they have in, in, in uh, fucking. Well, first of all, you didn't see. Sorry, I'm f- watching this ant turn into a zombie. Okay. Keep, keep um, explaining it to me if I'm not the looking dude, at you. The dude, the fucking infected evolve with time. Like the fungus will start spreading. Hey, man, listen. Okay, go ahead. Bro, you got to watch this shit, bro. I this just like, it's just like a bunch of like, I'm just scoffing this. I'm just a hater. I'm just, I'm literally, literally just that, hating. Oh, like, I learned that, bro. After 20, what? 27 episodes? 27. Yeah. 27 episodes of hate. The 27 him. Club. You know what that is, right? No. A bunch of famous people die at 27. Damn. Just like HMO is dead after <laughs> this episode. But no, go ahead. No go ahead. way. Um, so eventually, they like after the uh, after years of being infected, they'll start. The fungus will grow out of the fucking person. Now at this point, they're how, not in conscious the show, anymore. In the show, how long has has the 20 thing, years? Oh, it's been 20 years. Yeah. And like they've had like there's a clip in episode two where there was like oh like how do you how do you solve cordyceps for example like, even in, like even now there's no uh-huh. way you can't save the ant once it's infected okay like it's it's just over so there was literally a clip where the woman was like oh, they were like oh we brought you here because like you're a specialist in like uh fungus like how do we like end this and she was like nuke everybody she was like that's the only solution she just started crying 
She was like, you just have to kill everybody. That's it. <laughs> Which is fucking crazy, bro. Like, imagine the only solution is like, yeah, we just have to die. Realistically, if a zombie apocalypse were to take place, I'd probably just kill myself. Like, I, I'm not dealing with the stresses of living life like that. I lose all my hair, like, lose all my family. I'd just rather die. That's what, that's the thing. Like, little, dude literally is just built different because he just lost everybody. And he was just like, yeah, I'm going to just keep it like, for what? I don't have that like, much will to live. Like, I do. Cap. Like, right now, yeah. But, like, if it's a zombie apocalypse and it's hopeless, what the fuck am I doing still? Like, and I'm by myself? There's just no <laughs> reason to try that hard. Yeah. He was alone for 20 years before meeting the little no, girl. No, no, no. Oh, he wasn't alone. He was with people, but like... Was he with his wife? No. She died before the thing? She died before the story started. Uh, he was a single father. How old is he? In the show, he's like 56 post, uh, so he's like 36-ish, pre. Okay, okay, okay. And she died before the outbreak? Yeah. How did the outbreak even... St- oh, you said the, the sport. Maybe I'm just not no, paying not attention. No, not sports. Like, it, yeah, in, it's in one the, of the series, show. In the show. Okay, so what's so good about this show? I, it's oh, like every it's, zombie it's, show. Nah, no, nah, what, nah, what they, makes it different than just like every fucking zombie show ever in the fucking universe? I don't know. Because I feel like story. all of them... Like, is it like The Walking... I mean, The Walking Dead was good. It, it started good. It started great. And then I, like, yeah, everybody fell it. off after, what, season seven, six? Whatever. That's when everybody started to like the 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 viewership decline. Yeah. But before then, it was peak. Yeah, it was a like good show. everybody was like, bro, you'd stay up fucking what was it Sunday, Sundays. Thursday, whatever. Like just be like, oh shit, we gotta know what the fuck happening. That shit was peak. It was like, a good show. Like these, it was good. like dystopian shows with like if it's good done right with like zombies or whatever, that shit is fire. And that's what's happening here. It's good. It's a good story. Okay, but, but like, like, what makes it so special? Like, I see everyone's like... I think for me, right, what makes it special for me is that usually video game adaptations are dog shit. More, Has there like, been a good one prior to this? Uh, the Detective Pikachu, the Sonic one. Oh. People like those. I didn't watch the, those. I like the Sonic movie. Detective Pikachu, I don't I don't think that I was, watched... That was like the, the f- first one that people like. Because I know like Mortal Kombat as... But, but what... Well, 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 let's calm down with calling Pikachu a video game adaptation. Like, that Detective was an anime. Pikachu? Oh, I mean, wasn't it a game first? I was, yeah, the detective part. Was Detective Pikachu a video game? No, but like Pokemon was a... A trading card game. So it was a game. No, it was a it was an anime first. No way. Yes, it was. It was a manga first, if anything. Whatever it was. It doesn't. <laughs> yes, obviously a manga. That's what I mean. I Sorry, I use them interchangeably sometimes. But it was definitely a car, like a written comic first. All right, well, whatever. Show then. Then Sonic was the first, one, and people really liked that one. After, after they bullied everybody. No, into, wasn't there more video game show, like movies? Yeah, like every time they made more the Mortal Kombat ones. People oh, the hated Mortal those. Kombat movies were fucking ass. Yeah. What else? Because like you can't like uh, I don't like live action. I I actually don't know any. There's probably there's probably ones out there that like yeah. don't work out. Oh, well, oh, literally, oh, that, that's that's a, like an anime, I guess. But like what? any fucking animated show that turns into a movie, like Death Note. Dragon oh, Ball those Z are movie. always bad. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I don't, you, low key, bro, that Dragon Ball movie that was live action is kind of, well, okay, uh, Uncharted. I didn't see that one. I didn't but see I, that I think, one. I, I don't know how that one was received. Okay, but like Detective recently, Pikachu, Sonic, been good. Monster Hunter, Warcraft, Resident Evil. Mm, those are okay. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Angry Birds. But that one was animated. Like, yeah. Is oh well, yeah. We're talking about live action, right? Prince of Persia. Is that the one with the rock? Uh, no, that's the one with uh Jake Gyllenhaal. I think this is. I don't know. Well, before we go into the rabbit hole of just listing movies, yeah, go ahead. Like the 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 story itself for the game. That that game is pretty fucking good, bro. It's regarded as one of the best like story games in video game history, okay. right? I've never like, played it, oh. but I don't have any hobbies. I want oh you to understand. So God, don't talk about these things bro. like I know what the fuck you're talking about because I don't. <laughs> but go ahead. Regardless. Yeah, like, regardless. Okay. Let me talk about a situation that happened in the show to see what your perspective is, right? So they have a quarantine zone, right? From there, well, one, like the government, of course, is super controlling. They're just con- like patrolling the, the streets. They're doing everything to like make sure that everybody's in line, but in, in, a, in a rough way, right? Yeah, right, right, right. But, People are also like sneaking out. They're like, oh, I want to see the world. I want to see the ruins that the city's in. And like, what year that, is it in the in the movie in the 2022 show? Twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three? Oh, so it's like now. Yeah. Okay. But okay. Go ahead. So, like, 
if you're caught, like if you're not supposed to leave anywhere without like a permit, and if you're caught, you get executed. They hang them, like okay. the um, government. Yeah, the people, the people in charge, just hang okay. them, hang them, because they're like, okay, like it's not the U.S. The government rules. though; it's like whatever governing body yeah, yeah, there yeah, is uh-huh. in the specific area that you're in. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I guess it is the U.S. government because it's the same, like Fedra. They're just they control everything. They're like they're in control of every single quarantine zone. Okay. They're a military, basically. Okay, okay. Um, well, yeah, they start executing people, and she. What do you think about that? You think that's valid or not? If you broke the rules and there's a fucking outbreak, so like. <sighs> Cause this is me. I, I'm gonna say, hey, I don't think they had to hang him. I don't think they had to hang. But him. like, hey, but you I, could you could kill everybody in here. You could infect everybody because your dumbass wanted to go check out some fucking overgrown like cities. How does how does the how does it spread in in the show? You get bitten and you just turn. So like, as long as they don't bite nobody. How how you know? Okay, then like if if you go out and come back, strip you naked, make sure you got no scratch marks. But like that's what I'm saying. Like even like I think you should just be jailed. Mm-hmm. Like if this was real life, obviously I would not want anyone to be executed. But for the sake of this show, I would say like if I lived in that world, yes, I wouldn't want people to just fucking get killed just for curiosity. But like we should definitely like we should do do what you're saying like. Put him in jail, strip him down, make sure there's no bites, nothing, and then we can let him back in. But until then, fuck that. Yeah, that's like, what we should have done during fucking COVID and shit. Not jailed people. That's the people <laughs> are gonna hate that I said that. But like, we should. If you were coming not, from that another, would have been two weeks. But like, at least from like, like, like. But this is my thing. Based on what I know of people, shit's not happening. Yeah, like, it's gonna be too hard to strip people naked and be like, all right, let me check you guys' trash marks. Like, no. So what? Guess what? Now you're getting blickied, and no, now you're getting executed. Getting murdered, Absolutely not. Bro. Like if I'm in charge, bro, you are not. Like, you're gonna kill you people. You are not, bro. You are not like putting me and whoever else is in my zone in danger because your ass wanted to go be an explorer. You know what I would do? Mm. This is some real dictator shit. I would just put a guard in front of every single person's house. Wow. And then no one can leave. But it'd be see. Okay, so this is this is a slippery slope now because I was gonna <laughs> say. It will be a socialist community. It, like this is this is how like like <laughs> like uh, this sounds bad. It but, sounds like, bad, but like it's like North situation. Korea, right? It's like North oh my Korea. God. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm taking a big leap, but you know, it's like it's like a failed socialist nation because because like there's a dictator, right? But t- I don't know too much about North Korea. I just heard about it on a podcast, <laughs> to be honest. But but I'm saying like like. I, <laughs> this sounds so bad. Never. I'm not gonna finish my. Anyway, I was gonna yeah. say, like, I would, I would. It sounds like North Korea. Cause I'm saying, like, I will put an armed guard at everyone's door, make sure they don't leave. But like, I will give them food, and like, they wouldn't have to work and shit. Wow. So like, no, people still got jobs there too. I'm a well, like, I wouldn't have that. Then what? How, how you gonna get food? How you gonna make sure shit is well? Like, it's together. Well, t- the government would take care of it. Like. We would take care See, of that's, that's extreme, bro. Like you don't gotta be in the house. But You're you saying could, that's extreme, but you would kill everybody. I never said kill everybody. You would kill anybody that leaves the house. If you're a dumbass, yeah. No, I not leave just, the house. No, there's a zone. You have a zone. Oh, you have a zone, then I would just I would just make sure there's armed no, guards. No, no, no. You not not a specific zone. The quarantine zone is like, I don't know, fucking what? Let's just say it's like it's like six blocks, right? Okay. Like that zone is specific to me. No, that's for like for, for like, it's just Everyone, for example. Like, yeah, everybody. Like let's just say okay, Newark. All of Newark is the zone. You can't okay. leave out of Newark. Okay. Because like everything is barricaded and like you have to get some sort of like clearance to go out somewhere. But then if you decide to go out, that's on you now. But you okay. because because look, look 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 you're no you you're told the risks. Okay. You want to take the risk. Okay. Bet. Okay. Accept the consequences. Okay. Question. Okay. Let's say that the the zone is Newark. Are the restaurants open? I, I don't I, fucking know. I, I, like <laughs> like if if food and shit was provided, I could probably like if I didn't have to work and food and shit was provided, I could probably go years just in my house, like not just leave my. Chilling. I would just leave, wouldn't if food was provided. Like if other shit wasn't provided, like if my basic needs were not met, then yeah, I can see myself going I, I out just and trying need, to explore. I can't. I can't fathom what because because listen well why are they exploring like why that's the my fuck? thing no no but i'm saying no no i'm saying even in the show like why the fuck is that dude even like exploring well he's not exploring he's delivering because the girl 
is immune. And they're like, oh shit, like what the fuck is going on? So they're like, how did oh. he find her? They like uh, somebody gave it, gave it her to him, like as cargo. as a baby. No, just mm-hmm. like he's some, a delivery man. Yeah, he's a delivery man. That's his job. Yeah, like he's literally escorting her from Boston to Wyoming. That's his job. That's the actual cities. Yeah. Okay. And so, like, that, that's basically like you have, I'm not gonna just fucking go through every single well, second obviously. of the episode, right? But like, you just know he he's giving to her as cargo because it's like, oh she's immune. Well, he doesn't figure that out until later, because obviously, like, if people find out you're infected, they're just gonna kill you. Right. Like that's just a natural thing. But like, oh, let's make sure like if you don't turn. Sh- but how do you even find out someone's immune to some? They shit? have like some like. Like they have like some COVID test where it's like they puncture you, take a bit, like bit of your blood, and then like the scanner tells you if it's fucking if, like, you, if, you, if you're or, positive or negative for the for the for the the fucking, immunity. Well, no, for the fucking like cordyceps. But if she body. if she has, then how do they find out she's immune? Because like they escaped, or they they had to get out because they they can't do it legally. They have to like smuggle her, so then they get. Wait, found why do they have to smuggle her? Because you can't just leave like the zone. They have to have. But a I thought he's a delivery driver. Yes, but not, not, it's not the government that wants to save him. It's some. It's another group of people. See, this is why I can't get into shows, man. Like, it's just too many, like, fake shit. Like, none of this shit happens in real okay. life, bro. Well, people get smuggled all the time. That's what I'm saying. But, like, I don't know, man. Something about shows, <laughs> man. It just don't sit right with me. You got to just sit there. I, maybe I have no imagination. Maybe I'm just boring. They, this might be what it is. But, but go ahead. They... they but what's so good about this? I don't understand. You just have to watch it, bro. It's like it's like okay, what you liked Hunter Hunter, right? Sure, right, you, yeah. bro. You you were regarding it. You were like that was the best one. You were really recommended that shit to me so many times until I watched. It. I recommend a lot of shit to a lot of people. You know, it's just one uh one other thing I've recommended in my life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, but uh, I don't know. I I don't know what it is about like live action. So this is my thing, right? This is act like this is my honest like real take. You want to hear my real take? I love to. I don't want to watch shit that I think could actually happen. <laughs> okay. Like, unless it's like a comedy. Like, I've watched comedy shows, but even now I don't watch them as much. I feel like... You were like, I could laugh. What I like about, like, animated shit is that it's so out of this world. Mm-hmm. And I love that so much. It's, like, so out of this world. Because if I want it to be rooted in any form of reality, even, like... Obviously, that's science fiction, right? It's like sci-fi. It's not real. There's no like zombie. The, well, some some COVID vaccine believers might believe there is, but uh, not COVID vaccine believers. COVID, uh, whatever, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just don't like shit that's rooted in reality. I don't know why. I just feel like part of me is like, oh, this shit could happen. That's why I like like superhero stuff because I'm like, oh, this shit's not real. Like. This shit could not happen. Wait till they drop life. Compound V. Yeah, dude. I would. <laughs> would you inject? Absolutely, bro. Oh, oh I'd my. be a. Vi- I'd, I'd be a villain. You bro, said this before. Power, I said, bro, oh my god. I would not. But hold that back. is what I like. Like the reason I can't get into live action shows is literally because they're rooted in reality a lot of the times, and I don't like that. I like to escape the real world and go into these worlds that are not real whatsoever. Like that's why I can never watch a show like fucking. Like Scrubs, or or not Scrubs? Mm. No, no, because that's Anatomy? a Grey's Anatomy. That's the fucking one. It's I don't like, know how my parents sat through all them seasons. It's too fucking real. Like, <laughs> like why do I want to watch this just to fucking sit on the? It's like have you, uh, you ever watch um, fuck, what's that movie with Adam Sandler where he's a gambler, where he's like a sports better? Oh, um, Jules. No, Un- Uncut Gems. Okay. Uncut Gems. That's the, seen it. You haven't watched that movie uh-uh. with Julia Fox? Mm-mm. Shout out Julia Fox, by the way. But it's like that movie. Like, watch that movie. Uh, you should watch that movie. Are you recommending me something? Uh, but watch it just so you can understand what I'm talking. <laughs> that whole movie, I'm just anxious the whole fucking time. Like, mm-hmm. there's not a second in that movie where you're, it's a feel good movie. Like, you're just on the edge of your seat the entire time, and I'm like. Oh, this is fucking ins- That's why like I just like shit that couldn't happen in real life. I I, I enjoy that kind of thing. Like stuff that's so cuz yes, it's zombie stuff, but even then it's like, oh, there's zombies because of cordyceps that exist in real life that do like no, like I don't want to <laughs> know about this shit. I don't. Now you even, have a new fear. It's not even a new fear. It's just like I don't like it. I don't I, I wish I had better explanation, but do you get do you kind of get what I'm saying? Where I, I, I like it. this shit that's like bigger than life and bigger like shit that could never happen in a million years. Like like the um what's the movie? Um 
like get out like where they're transporting people's consciousness into another person's body mm-hmm. like that can't happen that's never gonna happen okay. and i know people are gonna be like "Ooh, it's never gonna happen <laughs> okay it's never gonna happen um uh what's that show i'm watching um alice in borderland another thing that's never gonna happen good you show know? too great show never gonna fucking happen in real life and that's why I like some anime, and I just like I like science fiction, but I like science fiction that's like, like, like alien, like, like not even alien. Uh, like I liked War of the World, the World, War of the Worlds, the Tom Cruise okay, movie that they yeah, filmed in, in Newark. Uh, but just shit that's like, it's like science fiction, but it's science fiction where it's like mostly science. Mm-hmm. Like some of it could really make this shit happen if they really wanted to, and it's not even I don't know if it's out of fear, but it's just out of like. Why do I want to sit here and just be anxious? I want to have a good time watching shows. So do you not like horror movies? I hate horror movies. Really? I fucking despise. Hear me out. Maybe I just like being anxious. Bro, the the horror genre is the worst genre of movie of all time. Like, it's actually the worst. I have never watched a good horror movie. A thriller? I'll take a thriller. I I, I characterize thriller as different than horror. Mm -hmm. But, like, a strictly horror movie, they're not... They're never good. There's never a good horror movie that's just a horror movie i have never watched a single one they are all shit it's the worst genre of movie it just is it, it really is i i don't like them. is it because you don't feel disturbed enough it's not even the disturbed part i uh, one time like, what I, do you like about thriller that you don't like about horror i don't like when the horror is literally like jump scares okay i agree I or agree. like shit is ass. or even the anxiousness i like when like i'm scared like oh uh, what's it like um getting chased by a killer or something us was good us the yeah, jordan uh-huh. jordan peterson no jordan, Pe- not jordan whoa. peterson For way different person jordan peel jordan peel <laughs> i was thinking key and peel jordan peel like that was a good horror movie i've watched other good like thriller like horror movies those are good but the strictly horror movies like the fucking like uh i was gonna say scary movie for a second like uh, Insidious, like those movies, I don't like those movies. No, no, the Insidious one and two are good, bro. I don't like those movies. I, I Actually, they, maybe it just might be one first one. That shit I, was good. Bro. I don't like those movies whatsoever. I don't like um. There's this one movie, uh, like I don't remember what it's called, but it's about this lady who's like childhood best friend. She only lives in the shadows. I don't know this one. And she's like, like she can only come out like when there's no lights because she lives in the shadow. So she's a vampire. And then like she, it's like this thing. It sucked. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. It <laughs> fucking sucked. Um, the Bye Bye Man. You ever watch that movie? Uh, that I, I movie, didn't watch it. That I movie was fucking it. ass. Um, so many. Th- I've. That's the thing. I can name more shitty ones than good ones. I haven't watched a whole lot of them. There's one time when when I went to the movie theaters when I was like. In my 20s. Not even in my 20s. I'm well, lying. You are in your 20s. Yeah. I was I was 18. 18 or 19. And we went to go watch a horror movie. And the movie was genuinely like freaking me out. And I had borrowed my friend's hat. And I just tipped the hat in front of my eyes the whole time. And no one could tell that I wasn't watching the film. But I did not watch a single minute of that fucking film. You just sat there for I an just hour sat there. I literally sat there for Bro, 90 I just minutes. just left. Yeah. I made questionable choices in my life. But and that was definitely one of them because I paid money to go watch a movie and I just didn't watch it whatsoever. But I just don't really like horror movies. I like horror movies. But I, 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 well, it depends because like all newer newer ones, it's just like the whole jump scare thing. It's like it's it's strictly just jump scares, and that shit is ass. Like I I agree. Like thrillers are a lot better. I want to be like oh shit. I liked it. Like someone's about to it. I didn't see that one. You don't watch any of the, what horror movies have you watched? I like the Conjuring series, Insidious. Okay. Um, the for thriller, fuck, what was it called? I think it was Passengers. Good ass fucking. I've never movie. watched that one. It was with uh, Hugh Jackman. Passengers. Is it, is it called Passengers? Something like that. Isn't Chris? Uh, isn't Passengers the movie with Chris Pratt? Oh yeah, and you're Jennifer right. Sorry, not, not 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 that one. That's it's not called um, Prisoners, I think. Something like that. Never heard of it. it, it it's a P word. I just know that. Okay, but. Shit was fucking good. Like thriller movies like that are fucking good. See, I- I'm telling you, I just can't get into them. Like, like uh, I like, I-, I watched The Vampire Diaries. I never finished it. I never watched it, but, but I like that. It was about like werewolves and sh- Team Wolf. Good show of like science fiction. But those are science fiction that's like not rooted. In- yeah, that's not the thing. Rooted. 
as long as it's There's not no rooted werewolves. in reality, I can fucking sit through it. But if it's like rooted in reality, I'm like, I don't really want to watch this that much. I f- I watch like uh, uh there it depends. Okay, well it's it's it, it's not that rooted that much in reality where like bro the the fucking uh, infected evolve and eventually like the fungus grows so much that they become blind but like have echolocation they just start clicking they're like called clickers and they click to see. That's not rooted in reality. Uh, to the point where like I I just know like me if that should happen to me I would just die because like bro like the, the the little girl she was like she just took a breath and like dude was like. Dude started attacking her because like, he heard her. I was like, I would have fucking farted, and that's what that would have been it. I would have died there. Damn, that is a little scary. I don't know how to feel. And about then it. after years, like ten plus years, they become massive, like fucking like dudes that like literally throw grenades of spores and are just like have armor of fungus. That's in the show. Yeah, I need to watch this and, show. Like, literally Let's see rips, how. And literally, he literally rips a dude in half. Yeah, I need to. I need to see this show for myself and see what the fuck is going on. Because this is sounding like a whole lot of bullshit. I haven't <laughs> played the game either, and I've heard the game is great too. Um, I'm just like, I'm a, maybe I am a boring dude. Like I, I, I've, I'm coming to that realization. But I heard that like, which episode was it? There was like one episode that everybody was like going crazy about. Episode three. Yeah, it was regarded. It was a ten out of ten. But like you know, it was it was a episode about gay love oh. and people. Like well, not people. I would say. The people that you know aren't fucking babies love that shit because that shit was it was a fire fucking episode. I need to watch this show, man. But you know, people are still like, "Oh my god, the agenda's getting pushed," and like, "Why the fuck am I seeing two men on my screen having relationships?" Like, "Oh my god, but like, fucking grow up already." Like, I yeah, I don't know. I which is weird, right? Because a lot of the, a lot of the complaints are also like, "Oh, this 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 didn't happen in the game," but like, bro, you could you could tell that dude was gay in the game too. Could like, you? Yes. How? Literally, he's literally has he has gay porn magazines. That's oh, also shown in the, in the in the show. It's kind of fire. And he's talking about okay. He's like as far as they show that, like in a in in the move in the show. Okay. No, I'm not saying gay porn is fire. I've never participated. Okay. Okay. I'm saying okay. So no, because like now I feel like you're kind of pressing me about it. Like I've never watched gay porn, bro. <laughs> I didn't press anything. Nah, bro. Like I've never I've never watched. That. I believe you. Like, why are you getting me so... Like, why are you pressing me about this? I'm not. Like, I, I, I haven't watched that. I believe you. Like, why why did you make it a thing no, now? nothing wrong. Why are you trying to make the audience think something about me? <laughs> I'm not. I have never watched that. You're bringing attention to it. I literally have never watched that in my entire life. I believe you. Congratulations. Anyways. Oh, my God. No, I'm just <laughs> joking. I'm <laughs> just being extra. And the... They, they they diverted from the game because in the game they had it where they hated each other so much that like dude left a suicide note left uh well he didn't get suicide well yeah he wrote a note because he got bit infected and then he hung himself in the game but in the show you see them like you know grow as a couple and like literally grow old together and mm-hmm. um bro that shit was high key sad bro I need to watch it I'm gonna watch it like I promise you I'm gonna watch it I believe you I just like. <sighs> I just didn't find the time, bro. My time, my, my time. I, I was like, it's not gonna go to waste. Now, granted, the episodes get long as fuck. Yeah, like, they get like an hour and a half of length. Oh, that's like, too it's, much. It's a me. movie. It's literally a movie. It's not that I can't sit through it. It's just like I don't, dude. I don't have like the time management skills. I feel like I spend every day doing HMO stuff after work. I don't know why, because I definitely don't. But like, I'll like edit a little bit one day, and then I'll just go to sleep, and then edit a little bit the next day, go to sleep, and then edit. It's like, nah, bitch. I like, just sit down and get through that shit, bro. Like, I have ruined my attention span. I really have. I don't know what it's been. I need to fucking put a video of fucking Subway Surfers under my fucking. Oh my god! Don't even get me started, son. <laughs> going on any social media and having to see three different videos to pay attention to one is fucking crazy. It's crazy. Like, I don't understand. Nah, that my fuckers gonna be like, oh, I have ADHD. No, not all of you have fucking ADHD, bro. Some of y'all just <laughs> stupid. Like, <laughs> like I, I some of y'all are man. just have the attention span of a squirrel. That's literally what it is. And I don't know. Yeah, and it always be some like it always be like some. It's either subway surfers, some dude mashing like play doh in like a cup or something, okay, or like someone like cutting up soap. You know what I fucking hate about those fucking games is that like I I hate the ads when they fucking play the game wrong. <laughs> oh my god! And then like, could you pass this level? Like yes, like, yes. A fucking a- toddler can pass this fucking level. Like I would download the game. I would be more susceptible to downloading the game if they played it the right way, but. They fucking put, and I guess that maybe does work, and it gets people clicking, and it makes people want to play the game. 
just but that to just prove the ad wrong. It just in fucking infuriates me. And you know what else I hate when they fucking show an ad and the game is nothing like the ad. <laughs> they put all the rent money in the ad. But and that then shit the, makes the no fuck. Trash it makes game. no sense. Like why even fucking do that shit? Because now I'm sitting there. But the, the, oh my god, yo, this subway surfer shit has got to end. Like it doesn't help. Like how how old are you guys, man? Yeah, yo, there's there's an issue with people because like son, on like. I guess on social media and Twitter, it'll be like the stuff that is like is coming on like my page of people just like trying out different shit. It'll be like, yo, we're going to fucking like, we're just dead. We're going to die. Cause like, this, what are this, you talking about? I have you. Okay, that okay, was sorry, so sorry, big. Sorry, sorry, you sorry. said my timeline on Twitter, sorry, people hold, hold, trying different shit. It'll be like, shit. bro, I saw this thing where it was like, oh, like, um, have you ever, have you seen those like chocolates? Brother, let's get specific here. What are you talking about? The, 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 the like, the fucking what is that word called? They basically make you want to have sex. The oh, okay, yes. okay, a little but, spicy chocolates. Yes, but then from there you go down this rabbit hole of like it was like fucking twenty five five year olds talking about some oh your girlfriend gonna love you with this and they're like like promoting like Viagra like bro you are twenty five fucking okay, years old okay but you don't you know who has you don't know who has like ED and shit bro like some of I mean where does that <laughs> come from? It comes from a lot of the, bro. Porn has ruined exactly, us. and like I'm the like, accessibility oh, no to way. porn. There's no way, like y'all can't stay up at 25. Like, but it's damn. not even like yo, like 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 I don't I don't want to say porn is bad, but I think like an overconsumption of it definitely is because especially it's just the accessibility, bro. Like I'd be scrolling on Twitter mad casual, and then I see. Like somebody sucking dick, and I'm like, damn, now I want on McCarter. No, no, <laughs> I mean like I, on my timeline. Exactly. Oh, you're saying like, on yeah, McCarter? Like, that Highway. shit. That I shit. Fucking that yeah. I was like, oh shit, like that's fire. I wish I was there to record that shit. But it is crazy because I'm just on some casual shit, just you know scrolling. And that the worst thing Twitter ever did was add a fucking for you page. Because now I'm never on my following tab because I don't even fucking realize it. And I'll go on my fucking follow for you page, and I'll just be. I don't know what I'd be liking on Twitter. No, I know what I'd be liking on Twitter. I don't know. What my- the day that bookmarks leak on Twitter is going to be the worst day of my life. <laughs> you know how they always like catch famous people like liking porn by accident? They're like, the same will L. Jackson know that his likes are public? The day they make bookmarks public, I'm going to freak the fuck out. I'm going to freak the fuck out. Talking about Twitter, you saw Elon Musk is making us pay for two-factor authorization? I didn't on see text that. How? Listen, 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 listen. I have a lot of problems with a lot of things this week. And I don't give a fuck how people feel about it. It's such a bad business model to make people pay for something that used to be free. I don't understand it. I never. It's like dropping free episodes of this podcast every week, right? And then one day we're like, oh, yeah, no, now you have to pay us to watch the episode. It's different if we drop like an extra episode. That's different. Like that's great. We could do that. We should do that. Not yet, but eventually. Um, but like the to live watch live stream episodes. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> not dropping shit live, bro. I'm too <laughs> scared of what the I'm scared of the mob, bro. I'm scared of the mob. We are about to Listen, this is going live before we post the reel that we're going to post today. And no, no, we're recording Wait, no. this. Yeah, yeah. We're recording this before we post the reel that we're posting today. And, that's and I don't know. So funny. It's funny, but I don't know if I just be in my own head about shit. <laughs> were you, were you, were you terrified last episode then when it happened? No, 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 no. Because like in the moment it's funny, but I think like it's the context that makes shit funny. But it's you sent me that TikTok today, right? Where you were like, I wish our comments were like this, where it's like them. But the thing is, we're so small that we haven't developed like a fan base. Like people don't know us. <laughs> so a lot of the time, like a viral clip will be their first interaction with us. So it's not like we've already built this rapport with people that it's like, oh, they're just joking. They're just being funny. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, man, because the comments we get is just but, people are but, just mad, bro. That that's the thing about so so for context, Kevin sent me this clip of this bigger podcast, right? Uh, called Suburb Talks. Mm-hmm. Shout out Suburb Good Talks. People. They Funny seem people. cool. Uh, the women on there are so bad. Like <laughs> all of them are just so fine. Like Suburb Talks. If you're watching, let's collab, bro. Like one of them is like Argentinian Korean. Wow. Son, I, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, man. I, the day Juan no, 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 no. <laughs> what I want to tell, I want you guys to understand, like, I'm not thirsty, okay? I don't want this podcast to come out and me, like, be perceived as thirsty. 
But I really have to like hold myself back from commenting on some of these like people's TikToks, bro. Like commenting like, oh my God, you're so fine. And my toxic trait is that like, I think she'll see that, click on my profile, look at my page and be like, oh, he's cute. I should DM him. That's my toxic trait. Okay. But it takes everything in my power because I don't know. They just seem like, it's not that they seem attainable, but it's like, they don't seem like that far reach. You know what I mean? It's what like, what does that mean? Because in my head, I'm like, give me 15 minutes with them and I'll make them fall in love. Like, that's what in my, like in my head, I think like, oh, I can bag them. I can bag them. Like, if she met me in person, like not my online person. You could persona. just send them to the, to the last episode. Dude, no, because I look bad <laughs> in that episode, you fucking dickhead. But, but in my head, I'm like, I can bag them, bro. Like, you like, have to I give can, them the pitch you gave me. I just think, um, yeah, it takes everything in my power to not comment. To not start barking. On that girl, Maru, bro. Oh, my God, bro. She is so beautiful. I think, like, yeah. I, I, I Listen, man. Like, the problem with TikTok is I see beautiful women on there every day. And I'm like, I, I, I really wish I could talk to any of y'all, bro. Like, But some of y'all are just extra fine and extra, like, Oh my god, bro. Okay, let I'm just going How into did we get here. Oh Suburb yeah. <laughs> Talks. So for context, Kevin sent me this clip about Suburb Talks, this other podcast. Go listen to them if you guys want to. If you don't, that's cool. Don't and listen to I them. I thought like what I what was said there was a, oh, this is a red flag. This sounds like crazy. I feel like if we posted something like that, we would just get crazy comments of like I can't believe you would say that. Yeah. Like yeah. like you're crazy for this. Like how how could you even think something like this? But that's what I'm telling you. Like granted, mm. yes, people that were saying them by name. So like people know. Like the people that are listening to them obviously enjoy what they're watching. Uh, but it's not but even just that. It's like they have an audience. Like they have a fan course. base. They like people will tune into their shit and they know what they're getting. But when we blow up off like a single viral clip and people aren't familiar with the other shit, they take us at face value. They have the luxury of having like a fan base that like knows them. So the people that are watching their shit are people that like their shit. And, you know, some of their shit might get more viral than others and more people will be exposed to them. But regardless, they have that like rapport with their fans where it's like, oh, they know us. We know them. We're joking. Like this is, you know, obviously they might not be joking, but it's a rapport they build. They know the type of people they are. If you, if we go viral off one clip with no context, <laughs> it's like, oh, these dudes are fucking dickheads. You know what I mean? Oh it's God. like even the Celsius clip. You didn't say anything bad. You know the only reason <laughs> it has 2 million views? You want to know why it has 2 million views? Why? If you use Celsius, you're just stupid. That Those three words is the reason it has 2 million <laughs> views, 7,000 comments, and 200,000 mm -hmm. likes. People those so th pressed. Those three words, Kevin. If you just said Celsius sucks and didn't call them stupid, that video would not have gone viral. The, the meat... Those three words changed it from a hundred viewed video that it would have been if it didn't blow up to now 2 million views and 200,000 likes to now a, a, a TikTok with over a thousand followers off of three words. Literally those three words changed it from a hundred views to 2 million views. I got to use that shit more often. But, but that's what I'm saying. And all the comments are just shitting on us. But mind you, if we, if people watched our stuff, they know we're just fucking around. We're just joking. Like, it's like, yes, like those are some opinions that we have, but like they're jokes. Like we're, we're like, we're jokesters. We're, we're making jokes. And you know, once we do get like a larger audience and shit, it oh is going to be easier. I can't wait to start responding to the fun comments. Oh my God. We're going to start. Let me, if you let me. We're going to, no, fun comments are going to get, we're, I want to start responding to other comments too, but, um, I just want to like uh, about to make an alt like HMO fan page not or something like, and like just start commenting on everybody. Like the one where we posted the the the, 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 the one of the the clip about like Uruguay or whatever, and one of the comments was like uh, one of the podcasts of all time or something like that. <laughs> I, I wanted to respond like great original con like we're gonna start like to the ones that are obviously like easy, but I'm not gonna respond to the motherfuckers writing dissertations in my comments. Like I'm just not gonna do it, bro. We gotta, so, we gotta bring, so, we gotta bring common to the like asshole oh, yes. of the week. We, we didn't do that yet, bro. Fucking dumbass of the week, actually. Let's dumbass of the week, bro. We need to do that. We can't do donk. The last donkey of the week, and that's like a Breakfast Club thing. Okay. So we can't so, take it. We gotta think of something. Uh, common of the week. Worst comment of the week. Something we talked about. Oh, the, I, I'm can I tell you my worst comment? Sure. It's not even that bad of a comment, but it just like the clip where I said I wasn't wearing socks no more. Some motherfucker commented, "You could tell who's never worked a hard labor job before in their lives." 
I'm like, what does that have to do with me not wearing socks in the house, bro? <laughs> From that same clip, there was somebody that was like, um, dude must have only grown up in the suburbs if he thinks walking around without socks in the house is, is weird. I'm like, what? Like, like what is the correlation? I, like, that's that's crazy, bro. People are are just stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like y- y'all y'all just dumb sometimes. I I know it's not y'all that are listening because if you're listening, you probably enjoy it yeah. because you wouldn't listen to it you if you fucking hated pack, it. You, you're handsome. Beautiful, everything. Or, or maybe none of those things, but we still love you. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Definitely, 100%. You're, you're, you're absolutely stunning. No. We probably <laughs> have ugly fans. It's so mean. I can name a couple. Not my fans. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Not that. No, no. But I think um, we need to do a comment of the week every week. Well, when our TikToks go viral-ish. Fuck it. Let's start. With, you already said yours. I said mine. So that's that's going to be the start. Oh. Let us know, y'all. Oh, shit. oh yeah. Also, in the coming weeks, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be having some changes to the studio. We've already upgraded the chairs a little bit. Yeah, my ass cannot take any more of that. I I hate you because when I showed you the chairs, you were complaining about the chairs. You were like, <laughs> oh, like a therapy I feel ass like chair. I'm in a session. Whatever. Fuck you. Because now he's on the podcast talking about something. Oh, it's so it's great. It's so comfy. Yeah. F me, him. <laughs> um. But we're also gonna try to you know change up the background a little bit. We're gonna see what. In the coming weeks, if they feel like filler episodes, just know there's a lot of stuff working in the background as well. Like we're we're trying some new things, we're seeing what works, what doesn't work. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. still working in progress. Twenty seven episodes in, join the twenty seven club. We're not dying, but we're here to stay. For now. Don't get too comfortable. Cause we'll cut you off real quick. But I think with that we might wrap it up actually for today. I don't know. Was there anything else you want to talk about? I don't think so. Listen, listen. Shorter episode. It's one of those weeks. It's a rainy day. Yeah, we came. St- we came back, y'all. So like nothing. The world didn't die this time. Yeah, we we we, we yeah we we, we 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 you know, you know. Oh my God. Yep. So, yep. <laughs> that's it. Thank you for hearing us out. Peace the fuck out, everybody. Yeah, take it easy. We'll see y'all next Wednesday. Bye.